I want to give you an update on H.R. 1207, the bill to audit the Federal Reserve. Uh, we're making great progress uh, because a lot of you have helped encourage your member of Congress to co-sponsor the bill. We now have about 39 co-sponsors of the bill. It's been introduced in the Senate, and we're picking up a lot of momentum. And to me, this is very, very important that we do this. The atmosphere in the Congress has definitely changed. It's changed with, the, with their attitude about the Federal Reserve System. But overall, there's a tremendous push by the American people for the Congress to wake up and have more transparency. They've heard about the stories of the, of the Congress appropriating $700 billion of TARP funds and nobody knowing where this money went and it ends up uh, paying huge bonuses to people who uh, broke uh, AIG. So the people are demanding more oversight and fortunately they're putting the pressure on the Federal Reserve as well and that's why we're getting so much support uh, for this piece of legislation. We still have a long way to go because the special interests are very, very powerful and they don't want this to happen. And uh, yet, I think the momentum is in our direction. In 1950, the law was changed and it, was, uh, it exempted the Federal Reserve of any auditing procedures and they've run wild since then. And the, what needs to be done is a certain portion of the, of, the, of the code has to be repealed so that when we ask questions to the Federal Reserve, they have to answer these questions. So to me, this is very, very encouraging and that we have to keep the heat on. And this has been a project of many uh, groups around the country to get more co-sponsors because ultimately the Congress will respond if there's enough pressure uh, by, uh, by the people. Uh, this, this weekend, I wanted to remind you that there will be a, um, a meeting uh, for Campaign for Liberty out in St. Louis. So if anybody's interested in that and attending it, it'll start with a rally on Friday and there'll be educational uh, meetings all weekend that you can get all that information for camp from the Campaign for Liberty uh, website. And that has been, the, it's been one of the major projects of the Campaign for Liberty to get this um, bill passed to uh, audit the Federal Reserve System. Uh, this, this to me is, is key because uh, it, it, we're literally moving into a crisis period because although the financial system has fallen and it's hard to be put back together and that's what they're struggling with, they're putting all the pressure and all the weight is being put on the dollar. When we see these announcements that the dollar uh, uh, can lose three and a half to four percent in one day, and uh, and and all the announcements come as the Congress will spend more money and the Fed's going to print more money. Eventually, as I have been saying so long and so often, it is going to be a dollar crisis. We're getting closer to that. A dollar crisis means a political crisis. And the sooner we find out the basic cause of this, which comes from the Federal Reserve, uh, the better. I have argued, of course, that we don't need the Federal Reserve. It's not part of our Constitution. We should get rid of it. But it doesn't happen that way. But if we can get the audit and get the books open, make them answer the questions, I am convinced that the American people will be so outraged that then we will have reform of the monetary system. We will be forced to live within our means. And we need to do this through a transition period rather than waiting for the, for the crisis to hit. But we're approaching that crisis period. So hopefully we can handle this in a more deliberate fashion. Thank you.